Hi, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Simon Kennedy. Uh, many of you already know that I'm a comedian, uh, but uh, there's 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 a problem. This other Simon Kennedy. I've been reading, well, reading. I've been looking at the TWT, which is the Weekly Times. I like to call it the Twit. It's a local paper uh, in the northern suburbs of Sydney, and um, on the front cover here, look. Par apparently, this is Simon Kennedy. What? This newspaper seems to really love anyone involved with the Liberal Party. Um, the Weekly Times is uh, is, is interest run by this guy J B. John Booth, I think his name is. He kind of reminds me a bit of. Uh, J. Jonah Jameson from Spider-Man, you know, he's a... He's a criminal, that's who he is. A vigilante. That cranky newspaper guy that's always... Aye, aye, aye. So this is uh, John Alexander, who's retiring, a liberal member of parliament. And this guy is Simon Kennedy, not me. I've had people say, oh, were you out and about with John Alexander the other day? Wasn't me. Wasn't me. This paper is, it's not a great paper, it's 16 pages of, I don't know what. This Simon Kennedy is an imposter. He's not me. This guy, this other Simon Kennedy, is running in Benelong for the Liberal Party, for Scott Morrison's Liberal Party. Benelong, which is John Howard's old seat that John Howard lost to Maxine McHugh, who I think John Alexander took off her. Uh, he's not me. Okay, um, a lot of people seem to be getting confused. He's not funny at all. Beware fake Simon Kennedys. Now this guy, there's, there's a little picture here. This is the Labour candidate who is uh, apparently known around the area. Um, popular guy, he gets a little picture. Um, let's go to the, the big story on Simon Kennedy, the other Simon Kennedy, okay, which is on page five. With that he gets a, gets a nice uh, thing up the top, nice headline there. Very, very glowing, positive, very positive. Everything in there is pretty much, so you think he's the only one running Simon Kennedy. Not me, um, just by comparison. Oh, look, there he is with, there he is with Scott Morrison. Scott Morrison, all right, um, not me. Well, there's, there's, a, there's a story about the Labour candidate there too, sure. Um, he's somewhere, oh, it's down here, it's real small, I can't even read that without, um, yeah, it's, it's not positive. It's not positive at all. Um, but at least he's the only Jerome Lexal. Uh, that's not my name. He's not, he's not stepping on my toes and apparently isn't as newsworthy as a car park. But Simon Kennedy, on the other hand. Oh, Simon, were you at the Epping Club the other night accepting the Liberal Party's nomination? Wasn't me. No, wasn't me. Oh, Simon, have you been living in Maroubra for a long time and now you've just come back to the area to run. No, that's not me. That wasn't me. me. That wasn't me. That's someone else. Wasn't me. That's the other Simon Kennedy. If you see someone called Simon Kennedy getting out and about, it's not me. You know, I spent a lot of time trying to make people like me. Um, this is not going to help. Scott Morrison is dropping this guy in to Ben Long. He's going to ruin my good reputation. Beware of imitations. Hey, Simon Kennedy, are you the guy who worked for consulting firm McKinsey Partners and uh, helped to, uh, you know, give some advice on the JobKeeper thing that Harvey Norman took $22 million of, even though they posted massive profits? Is that, is that you? Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Not me. Simon says don't vote for Simon. Beware fake Simons. So that, that's my message, all right? Beware of fake Simon Kennedys. And uh, if you do have a puppy you're training or uh, maybe a budgie that you need to line the cage. Plenty of copies of this around.